well in this video we are going to see how to extrapolate a data from a given data so we have along the x-axis the wavelength in nanometer and along the y-axis we have the alpha value it called called the absorption coefficient is in meter inverse so we have drawn this graph using these two values and we want to extrapolate the y value from this data so suppose we have uh, given some uh, data points as x and we want to find out the value of y corresponding to that x so maybe some data is missing in that graph so how to extrapolate the data so we are using this origin pro 2021 trial 2021 b trial version so using this software we will uh, learn how to extrapolate the data so we have m1.5 spectrum file so we will add a column then we will paste the data so we need the absorption coefficient correspond to this lambda value so suppose we want this 280.93 uh, lambda values corresponds you know the coefficient coefficient so we can add a new column also here but uh, for the time being let's delete it let's go for the analysis first of all we have to set it at x go to analysis click mathematics open dialog now we have to uh, select the manual there are so many options go to the x values to interpolate in the x values we can see what we are going to interpolate is c of x2 is m am 1.5 lambda values so we'll click on that we'll select that column click here now to input the in, in the input case we have to give the input into the software so that the software could know that what input is actually is going to use so we will select these two click on that now click support uh, now we we want to go for the linear for the time being and then after that we we'll, uh, can see for the rest of the four now click linear and to extrapolate let's uh, keep it as new now click ok so we can see the extrapolate data is given here so if you want to draw the graph out of that so it is given here let's go for the rescaling so in the scale part we are just putting 200 nanometer to 900 nanometer as x value apply ok keep it here at the time being now let's go for the another analysis now if you click on the analysis now we have another open dialog option this time we will repeat the same now in this case we'll go for the cubic spline select extrapolate we can choose the rest of two also let's uh, click natural and keep it as new let's click ok so we have this data let's draw a graph out of this two so we have this data let's go for the rescaling put it as 200 nanometer to 900 nanometer click apply ok keep it here let's go for the analysis if we click the analysis in this case we have this type of option so let's uh, click again now this is again coming so now we'll go for to go to click on the x value see how it works now go for analysis mathematics now we can see the dialog box everything will be the same as the previous yeah. 
now this time we will go for the third one cubic b spline keep it extrapolate keep it at auto we can also change it we can uh, give it um, manually but for the time being let keep it auto keep it new click ok we got another one let's uh, draw a graph out of that so we have got this graph now go for the rescaling if we go for the rescaling let's uh, keep it here if you go for the rescaling uh, we'll keep it same 200 to 900 it's 200 to 900 let's click apply and then ok So as you can see now going for another one click here go for analysis repeat the same so input so this two we have to select it let's click here this time we'll go for the fourth one this acumas line click extrapolate keep it new okay let's have a graph out of this two data so we'll click on the graph so we have these four graphs go for the rescaling thing for 200 to 900 this is in nanometer so apply okay so let's uh, look at these four graphs so oh this is a, we have six five three and four so and this is the mother data where we got yeah so i think we need to reassemble this so let's keep three here keep five down here that's uh yeah that will be fine now this is graph six okay now let's have a look on these four graphs with the now compare with the mother one and if we go if we find this values yeah see the this is the comparison now as anyone can ask that uh, uh, if we go for, suppose let's go for the zero keep it as zero scaling and on the y-axis first then this is zero apply ok let's repeat the, all the things for the four graphs this is zero we are uh, doing it for the y-axis so that we can compare with the mother graph scaling to zero apply okay so now now we have a fine bump in the graph one so the bump is missing actually in the rest of the four graphs so where this bump goes but the thing is that you have to look at the wavelength value and also the alpha value this is starting from 270 nanometer but in our case for the ext extrapolated data if we see that our uh, wavelength value started from 280 but here in this case it's starting uh, the bump is at uh, around uh, 270.5031 so actually our data is starting somewhere from here okay so simply those data will be missing the data for the previous values previous to the 280 so that's all for today so yeah if you find this video useful for you please do like share and subscribe